Hey everyone, it's Megan from I Dream of Hoops, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about sizes and waist hooping for beginners or even intermediates. So, the bigger the hoop naturally, the slower the rotation, so it'll be easier to waist hoop with a bigger hoop. Then, you want to graduate down to a medium size hoop, and then a smaller hoop as you progress. Um, it takes time, everyone is a little bit different. This hoop is going to be a 36 inch, this one is a 30, and this one is a 28, just to kind of give you a reference. So, let's start with the big hoop, which is a lot easier, okay? What you want to do is have it nice and straight, and you want to give the hoop a, a big push, a big balance push though, not like this or like this, you want to push it straight and boom, just like this. So it helps you gain momentum initially and the straight push events the hoop from walking all over and you trying to correct it with your hips. The secondary thing that is so important is good posture. You want your shoulders back and you also want to keep your hips straight. If you put your hips this way, the hoop's going to rotate this way. If you put your hips back, the hoop's going to rotate this way. So what we want to do, shoulders back, hips straight, big push, and then some people prefer, I'm more of a rocking <clears throat> momentum, forward back, forward back, when the hoop touches right here, I'm pushing, and when the hoop touches my back right here, I'm pushing back. A lot of people like to do the rounder rotation, which is personal preference, whatever feels good, also, foot placement is optional, depending on what you like. So, some people like to put their feet staggered. Some people put them together. You can even kind of stutter step, and that helps a lot. You want to experiment with the foot placement and also with the rotation. Like I said, everyone's different. People have different approaches and some things are more natural to others. And you just kind of have to experiment and see what you like. Then also, if you are hula hooping and you start to feel the hoop fall, it helps to go in the same direction as the hoop. It helps with the momentum. And you have to put in less effort, which is very nice. So, let me just show you. This is a bigger hoop, so it's pretty easy for me to waste to. The shoulder hoop is a little bit smaller, but still big enough to waste to. You can see the rotations a little bit faster. And then watch what I was saying with your hip placement. Say you put your hips or your butt back. The hoop's going to follow your hips. So you want to keep them nice and straight. Because say if you're like this, that's not something you want. At first, you want it to be nice and balanced, good balance throw, rocking or circular motion. Feet preference is up to you. And I wish you guys luck with your weight sweeping.